Welcome everyone to this yoga class dedicated to the feeling of irritation or anger. So if any of this sounds familiar to you or you're just feeling out of balance, this practice is definitely for you. I'm using a blanket and I bring it on my mat and uh, two blocks. Now you might not have blocks. You can use two books instead or even two balls. If you don't have any of that, don't worry, you can use your hands. So I'm going to start lying down on my padded mat. So make sure you have a little bit of padding on your mat. You will see why in a second. And then I bring my hands on my belly. This is the area we're working with today. And we're going to start by closing the eyes, turning the focus inward, bringing awareness to our insides, and just noticing how we feel at the center of our body. And this area is traditionally related to any feeling of irritation anger, even indecisiveness, so everything that is out of balance is related to the navel in the yogic tradition. See, for the first few moments of practice, before we get into movement, you can soften that area, so allowing for your belly to be super soft, the opposite of what we do all day. And then take your arms long and start hitting the mat with your arms about 10 times. Hit it hard, right? So. This is a wonderful thing, not only in yoga, but also just to release anger. And then press your arms down after 10 repetitions. Widen the chest, roll the shoulders down. Pull the navel in, hold a breath, and exhale. Soften for a moment, feel the breath. And then grab your blocks, your items, your fists. Reach it up, reach your items up, and roll the shoulders down. As you exhale, pull the elbows wide and down. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to widen elbows down towards the mat. Open the chest. Okay, we're going to do three of these. Imagine that you had a lot of weight in those items or even your fists. Then press the elbows down as you open the chest. Feel the spaciousness in your upper body. Reach everything back up. And this time lift the hips as you pull the elbows down. So we're going to add on to this movement. Inhale up, exhale, reach the elbows down and wide, lift the hips, maybe come onto the heels. One more time like this, kick up and reach down. Feel the tension in your legs, press the heels into the earth, keep the knees parallel. And gazing up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, slowly roll down, reach the arms up and then extend the legs up towards the ceiling. And this can feel quite nice just for a moment to feel the stretch behind the legs. Now take the left foot down and the right arm down and extend the left arm behind you and the right leg to the front. You're hovering both just above the ground. You're reaching your body long in a diagonal and you're kicking that foot away from you as you reach your block behind you. See if you can keep breathing here and then reach it back up after three breaths. Everything comes back up and now you're going to drop the left arm and the right foot, pulling yourself uh, in a long line here with the right hand above and the left foot um, in front of you. Kick the heel away, reach the block away, feel the diagonal stretch again. Feeling a little bit of activity in the navel and then reach everything back up one more time. Reach it high. Exhale, open the arms. Set the foot feet down. Enjoy the space for a moment. And then take your knees into your chest. And whenever you're ready, roll up into seated. We're going to continue with a little bit of breath work combined with movement. So find a steady posture here. You can sit on your blanket if that feels good. Making your spine super long. Feel yourself growing out from the ground. Lifting the top of the head and then reach your left arm out and make a fist with that left hand. Right hand on the belly. We're going to start with five breaths, Bastrika, in and out the belly. Inhale forceful, exhale forcefully, in and out the belly, five times. Hold the exhale with the last one. Inhale and release. If this was fast, we're going to do it again. Right arm out in a fist, left hand onto the belly. Find a steady spine and stay with your breath, Bastrika, five times, in and out. Forceful breaths, belly breathing. 
hold it at the top and release it. All right, we're going to do 10 breaths with both fists reaching to the sides. Find a steady posture, roll your shoulders back and begin whenever you're ready. 10 breaths in and out. Hold the exhale. Inhale. Release. Well done. Good. Take a moment just to feel the energy in your body now. The warmth may be at center. And then make fists with your hands again. And this is probably the most satisfying movement to do when you're really angry. You're just going to kick the air with your fists, right? So kickboxing the air with your hands. And as you can see, I'm not a very skilled boxer at all, but it does feel extremely liberating just to punch the air a couple of times. And you just want to make sure, and that's really all you have to worry about right now, that you stay with your breath. So as opposed to the forceful breath, now we're taking deep breaths as we kick or we punch and then reach the fists up. Exhale, release. Nice, good. Take another moment to feel the energy in your body. And let's make our way onto all fours. I like to release my mat now, but if you feel like the cushioning can be nice, then please feel free to keep it there. And then from all fours, I like to grab my blocks. You can do this without. Right foot steps to the front. You lean a little bit into the front thigh. Hands go onto the front thigh. You pull the navel in as you sink forward. Maybe lift up your arms here. And then connect your fingertips as you start to circle your upper body. So today we're working a little bit with trying to challenge ourselves out of the center, holding a strong foundation, switch direction when you're ready. Three circles the other way around. So we're going to bring a little bit of instability into our body in order to find our own individual stability back and then exhale, widen the arms. Bring the right hand behind, the left arm up, reach up and then over to the right side, side bending. So again, creating a little bit of instability and then firming ourselves from the inside out. Reach back to center, release your hands down onto the floor, onto the blocks. And now shift your hips back, reach the chest wide and as you exhale, sink forward and drop everything. Now, a special... Um, attention towards your navel center again and see if you can release for three breaths the belly before you sink back down into the front knee and then step it back into all fours and switch sides right away come forward with the left foot low lunge climbing onto front knee making sure the center is firm again and then reach the hands up fingers connect three circles in the other direction so the one you didn't start off with the one that feels a little weird. Good. Reach up high before you switch direction. Go the other way around. That's it. And it doesn't feel symmetrical usually. It doesn't feel perfect. That is totally fine. Right? It's about challenging yourself. Bring the left hand behind the right hand up. Now reach up first and then over as you exhale towards the left side. See if you can spin the chest up a little bit before you go deeper into the side bend. You can stay here for longer before you come back up and then place your hands down and shift your hips back again. Stretching the hamstring as you inhale and as you exhale, just fold and soften forward. Finding softness in your front body. Let everything drop for a moment. And then come back up slowly and forward into the lunge. Step back into all fours. Give yourself space. Let's do three slow rounds of cat cow here. Just mobilizing the spine. As you inhale, widen the front. As you exhale, widen the back. Opening as you inhale, rounding back as you exhale. And then 
find back to neutral, tuck your toes under. And as you exhale, pull navel in and let that pull you up into your downward facing dog, grounding through all 10 fingers, bending the knees so you can really lengthen the spine. And then from here, from that long spine, you're going to try and let the heels come down a little bit more, the thighs push back a little bit more. Feel the length in your body here. Feel the space. Let your heart melt down a little bit more towards your mat. And then start walking your feet forward, your hands back. Come into a forward fold. Soft knees. Hands extending behind you. Look forward. Come onto your toes. And balance here. Chair variation on your toes. Draw the shoulder blades back as you lift onto the toes. And then the opposite. Reach the arms forward and sink onto the heels. Sit a little bit lower. And then reach up and cross your wrists. Cross your wrists and see if you can touch your palms. I'll show you from the front here. Now lean over to the right. Come into a long side bend. And take three breaths here. Feeling the space between each rib before you come back to center. Exhale to the left. Breathe into the left side. Sorry, breathe into the right side. Reach back up. Bring your elbows down, dive down into your forward fold. Drop the head again and walk yourself back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here before you walk your feet together and then the next inhale lifts the right leg up. Exhale, step that right foot through between your hands, come into a lunge. And walk your hands onto the front thigh. Sit a little bit lower here. We're going to take about three breaths just with our hands on the thigh. Stable back leg, steady front leg, solid foundation. And then moving further, taking the left hand onto the belly just to notice. See if you can release the belly for a moment. And then reach your arms forward and up and see if you can bring the palms together behind your back, behind your head, and lean into your elbows. The elbows stay as parallel, as close as possible here. Leaning back and I'm bending the back knee so I have a little more space. Reach the arms forward now, warrior three. Lighten the back leg and lift up into your balance, warrior three pose. Looking down, tucking the chin, so you notice the neck is really long. You kick the left foot back. And with the next breath, see if you can lift the back leg into the chest. Back knee lifts up, shoulders down. Good. Again, challenging your balance. And then step it back, big step back, hands down, downward facing dog. Let everything be soft again for a moment. Find your exhale, make sure you're not holding the breath. Walk your feet together, swing the left leg up, inhale, exhale, step that foot forward. Widen your stance and climb up onto the front thigh for your high lunge position. Roll the shoulders back, gazing down. Good. And then from here, bring the right hand onto the belly. See if you can soften for a moment, even in this challenging position for your legs. Can you bring softness into that part? And start lifting your arms, touch your palms behind your head, elbows closed, lean back into your arms, bend the back knee a little bit, lower back is wide. See if you can stay with your breath and then extend the arms up and forward. Lighten the back foot, see if you can lift the back leg up, doesn't matter how high, warrior three pose. Turn the back toes towards the mat, keep the neck long. And then take the knee up towards the chest, maybe without stepping down. This is probably the most challenging pose of the day. Balance here on one leg. Kick it back into your lunge again. Reach the hands down, step it back. Downward facing dog. Find your breath and then walk your feet forward. Your hands back, come to a forward fold at the center of your mat, and we're going to start bouncing a little bit, a wonderful release. So bending the knees and swinging the arms alongside our legs a couple of times. Make really sure that your knees are soft here, please. 
And we're going to add on lifting arms, widening the arms, touching elbows, widening the arms, diving down. It takes a moment to get the hang of this. That's why we're going to do a two breath pause in between just bouncing. Lift arms, big circle back, find elbows, swing the elbows up, big circle forward, dive down and bounce. Two breaths. Okay. If this is all too much, just bounce, right? No big deal if you can't get it. Lift your arms, big circle back, find the elbows up, exhale, big circle forward, dive down and bounce. Good. All right, last one, lift the arms, big circle up, find the elbows, lift up, big circle forward and fall down. This feels like such a great release sometimes. Let everything dangle here, soften. And then from here, see if you can bend your knees and come into a tiny little squat, hugging your knees, dropping your chin to your chest. Breathing into your back. Lift your gaze and sit down. Before we come into a relaxation, we're going to do a little bit of a slow down. So bring your legs wide into a wide angle and for a moment bring tension to your legs into your upper body. Breathe in, let the palms face up and as you exhale, everything softens. So now you're going to surrender to gravity, letting toes soften, letting fingers soften. The head is heavy so that the neck can be super long. Maybe you send your breath into your back. We're going to take about 12 breaths. See if you can soften the belly a little bit more. There's really nothing else to do here right now. And when you feel ready to come back up, there's no rush. Just come back into your seat. All right, let's make our way to the front of our mat so we can roll down in a second. I'll find my blanket again. And I unfold it back to the shape I had in the beginning. So it's kind of like folded once or twice usually, and then I fold it into a smaller shape. I should say like a slimmer shape, so it's a long, slim kind of elevation. I put it on my mat behind me and tuck the back part of it for my head. So it should be just a little bit of elevation for the area around my spine. I have my two items. If I don't, don't worry too much about them. Bring the feet together into a butterfly, drop the knees out, and that's where the blocks come into game. So you can just rest your legs on them. Roll down on your support, prop your head up with the rolled end of the blanket, and then rest your hands on your belly again. We're going to end class the way we started it, with some awareness for Manipura, for the area around our belly button. And come back to the release and this has a lot to do with allowing yourself to release, right? So during our daily lives, not only do we feel like we have to fit in our clothes, right? So that is usually kind of a little bit of tension around our belly. We also hold tension through anxiety, through stress, very, very often in the navel. So when something happens, the first one of the first impulses is to put a lot of pressure, a lot of muscular tension into that area. So... Take the moment to release it. Allow yourself layer by layer to completely let go. Let go of your breath and allow the rest of your body to become a little bit heavier here. You can stay in this shape for as long as feels good. Whenever you feel ready to come out of this, either roll to one side, folding your knees, or just push yourself up into a seat. 
closing your eyes just for a moment of awareness again bring your palms together lengthen your spine notice the space you just created and maybe a little bit of release as you exhale bring your hands towards your chest namaste thank you so much guys i hope to see you next time have a good day